to Season 5, Episode 7, baby, of Trash Your Treasure. I can't believe it's already here. We got some big, big things in the books for you guys. So many good finds. I'm going to stop talking. Let's roll the footage because it is a mind-blowing episode. Let's go. Well, slap your mama, slap your mama, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this motorcycle stand, little hydraulic jack right there. Boom, look at that. Sweet. There's no possible way someone throws away a ping pong table, guys. Look at this ping pong table just sitting in here with like a comforter covered right there. Look at this thing. This thing's probably professional. What? Oh, are you joking me? A bed is behind it? Look at this right here. Are you joking me? A kin... What is that? Kinmore? Washing machine? This thing looks clean. Just look at it sitting right here. What? Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Let's look in here and see if we can find anything. Little bag, little Tupperware, Tupperware, Tupperware. What's that? Nice. Let's get out of here. That was a really nice wash machine. My goodness. Thing was still clean for sure. Probably looking at upgrade. And again, then they just get rid of their older ones, which that still would probably fetch what? That wash machine would easily fetch about what? 100? Easy two day flip on Craigslist. Oh, I can't really see what's going on over there. Sorry guys, sometimes these aisleways are so dark at this complex, I can't really see in there. It's kind of tough. So anyway, that probably easily $100 flip on Craigslist. What's that? Some sort of bucket or pail. We'll go ahead and skip out on that one. This is the complex that I just came out of with the PS3. I wonder if he took the dryer set already <laughs> and loaded up the dryer. It looks like a matching one. Wow, back on the hunt and we find this big, beautiful piece of furniture right here. I don't even know what it is. Look at that, that's solid wood. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for, and we have waited a long time, and my apologies on that one, this is the Alienware desktop computer that we found a couple weeks ago. And if you're interested in seeing the actual footage, go back a couple weeks on the vlogs and you can see me actually finding this. But I wanted to, in this episode of Trash Treasure, give you full specs. It did come with the box and the manual. Box is right over there. And we have the manual here with the Windows 7 installation discs and everything in the back of it as well. Absolutely fantastic. Anywho, I want to show you some of the cool things. I just got done spit shining her, and we're looking at 91% alcohol, ISO, something or other, CVS cleaning. I use that to clean with some Q-tips and cotton pads, cleaned it all up, spent the last half an hour dusting it, vacuuming some of the dust bunnies in there, and we're looking absolutely fantastic. Couple cool features of this, and again, we will show this fired up in the end of the episode. That pops down for your DVD CD drive right here, pulls on up there, and here are some little USB ports here, your audio and stuff like that, microphone, very cool. All right, so this thing lights up right here, Nice little ventilation top. This is how we open up the side. We're going to get to that in just a second here. But it is in the current state. I found it. I haven't added anything to it. That's why I want to show you what I found, give you specs, and then we do have a motherboard in there, of course. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hit the switches here. Check this out. So you hit that right there. You pull that up. This comes open like this, folds down, and then you just unclip it there, and we'll put that one out of the way for just a split second. Anyway, we spit shined her up. We're probably gonna have to use my phone to kind of get in there with some light here. This opens up right here. And number one, people that do throw away and they know what they're doing, they won't include hard drives. The last two gaming PCs that I did find, no hard drive. So unfortunately this did not come with a hard drive, but it does have four slots for your hard drives or SSD, etc. Has the power supply with all the connectors looking absolutely fantastic. Again, does have the DVD CD drive up here. This is a water cooled Alienware desktop computer. Absolutely fantastic. Motherboard is there and the RAM. We're looking absolutely spot on fantastic. Let me bring one of those RAM sticks out and we'll get some light on that motherboard as well. So last time I showed you my other gaming PC I found, I made a Huge mistake on the RAM. I thought it was 12, but it was actually six gigs. So I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Each one of these sticks is DDR3, 1600, PC3, 12, 800, four gigs times three. So each one of these is four gigs. And so here's four gigs, there's four gigs, and there's four gigs. So we got a total of 12 gigs. Four times three is 12, if my math is correct. And that is looking absolutely spot on. These are by G-Skill RAM. 
Three sticks, 12 gigs, looking fantastic. So already, just with the RAM, I've beat out the other gaming PC. Now, you gaming PC, I need to actually ask you which one I should keep. If you rewind it, I think two episodes ago, my other gaming PC, I, I give you full specs breakdown, and we're going to, of course, fire this up, see exactly what i7 core processor, because the sticker is on the back of there. But we got right here a MS7591 version 1.0 motherboard there. Again, this is water cool. There is my cooling fan there. Of course, my processor is underneath all that good stuff there. Alienware looking absolutely spot on fantastic. Cable management. The guy actually really took good care of it. It was a little dusty in some parts. A couple dust bunnies on the front fans over this direction, but overall spot on fantastic. What also we are missing is the gaming graphics card here, but the original one that did come with it wasn't that good. You can actually pick it up. I ran some specs on eBay. I think it's like under $40 for the gaming graphics card that was supposed to come with this one, so it's not I mean, obviously it would have been awesome if it was there, but remember my other gaming PC that I did find came with a really sweet one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that one because this has the proper connectors. We're gonna plug that one on in and again, fire it up. I have a cable that did not come with a power cable either, but I already have that, so it's all good. So the only thing this thing is missing is of course Windows and on a hard drive to fire it up and a graphics gaming card. But don't you worry about that because we have backups and spares. So let's get this thing up and running and I wanna show it to you working, and I wanna show you the LED lights. This is the one that came with the other gaming PC, the ATI Radeon, I believe you pronounce it if I botched that, I'm sorry, HD5870, we're gonna be putting in this guy right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so check this out. We got this in here, of course, we just showed you that. That's all locked and loaded, ready to go, the graphics card there. Then, we have already plugged in a, now this is a small, obviously a laptop hard drive, but it will do the trick because it actually has Windows 7 on there. I think this is the right one. If not, I'm gonna have to look around and find it, but I did find a laptop a while ago that had Windows 7 already booted up on there, so I'm hoping that this one does. If not, I do have a couple of other hard drives I'm gonna try out, and then I'll use the manual book CD to reload Windows 7 on there, juice it good. But what's cool is this thing is really dialed in with all the plugs, all the power cables, connectors. This thing is in actually a lot more pristine condition than the other one that I did find, according to, like, obviously, organization. So, let's go ahead and just plug all that stuff on in there. Now, even though it was missing the graphics card and the hard drive, those two items are DD finds as well. So, now all we need is, again, the power cord over here. Let's get this thing fired up and show you guys. I'm 99.999% this thing will fire up. Ladies and gentlemen, I am right here in front of you and we're doing this together. I've brought up my Dell monitor that I also found dumpster diving. Looking good, I've already plugged it in and that did its thing, you know what I'm saying? I've already double checked on that, but this is what we're concerned about right here. Now, if it doesn't fire up, it's because the hard drive doesn't have windows on it. We're hoping for the best appropriate sample. I'm not really sure actually how to turn this thing on. Oh, okay, here's the power button right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Again, 99.99999 percent sure here we go let's do it together one two and three i hear a fan i hear a fan i hear noise that might be the car alarm outside fan fan booting no led lights yet oh ladies and gentlemen it's alive it's alive oh oh wow Oh wow, here we go. What is this? Your system's memory configuration has changed since it entered hibernation. Uh, delete restoration data and proceed to system boot menu. What does that mean? Okay, I'm gonna have to look that up before we go. Oh, it's alive, my friends, it's alive. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the only thing I can think of is because I found this hard drive and it came out of a laptop, the memory configuration is obviously like, I don't know, really, <laughs> not really sure. Anywho. We have a keyboard right here. This was not DD though. This was a product review and it just came today. So actually I just unboxed it today. So we're looking absolutely fantastic. Nice little mechanical keyboard here. Let's go ahead and delete restoration data and proceed to system boot menu. Here we go. All right, let's see what we got ladies and gentlemen. Starting windows, yes. 
I chose the right hard drive. Awesome, this should have Windows 7 Home Edition, I'm pretty sure, but we're gonna go ahead and get it fired up. Let's go ahead and go through the menu here and then I'm gonna go into the system, show you guys, oh, we need a mouse, I forgot, we need a mouse too. Okay, so I'm gonna have to actually get in here and we're gonna look at the specs as the full breakdown on what i7 core processor this has in it and show you RAM, which we already showed you, but we'll show you on screen. Hold on, one moment. Excellent, my friends. Cole, my friend, wait, does this have a password on it? I forgot, no, I think I back in hacked this earlier. Huh, okay, I gotta test this. I think what we're gonna have to do is, I thought this one didn't have a password on it, but it does, so we're gonna have to actually hack it, go in the back system way. Don't you worry about that, I'll make a separate video on my other channel, which is linked in the description box below for that. But I won't bore you with that, but I did wanna show you guys that it's fully functional, fired up, and then once I hack it, I'll get a little bit of footage, hopefully, in the end of the video. But now we move on to something else. There it is. And remember I told you in the hallway. Now remember guys, remember I told you in the pathway, back in that blue bin, if you watch that one vlog, you'll see a little snippet of just the front of the PS3 fat. Guys, take a look at this juicy goodness right here. We got a little ironing board, a tower fan, and what's this? Wait, 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 what What in the world is that? Are you gotta be joking me? Look at this action. Original, guys. This was a haul. It was a blue bin. I decided to take the whole entire thing because I saw cables for the PlayStation and I didn't wanna rummage through it right there. There was a complete haul. Now, I've just spent about a total, including cleaning that one and all of these, a good solid hour using 91% alcohol and some cotton pads and all that stuff I had in here so that you guys couldn't see it was going to be a surprise. We're looking absolutely phenomenal. Okay, we have an original PS3 with controller that I did clean thoroughly. The PS3 was very dusty. This is the original PS3 fat 60 gigabyte hard drive. I believe these actually sell for more than the upgraded models, the 120 gigabytes or something like that. So I will definitely sell this one because I already have a PS3 Slim in that room over there and I don't need that in the man cave. I will probably wait for a PS4, replace the PS4 in this room and then put the PS3 Slim in the other room or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get some good money for it. Plus this, it's a heavy, heavy machine, the PS3 original. So anyway, the only bad part, guys, the only bad part now, I know you gamers, you guys know it, you guys have already answered the question, okay? Does it work? Exactly my point, okay? Unfortunately, we got the yellow light of death. Okay, I know, I know what you're saying. Oh, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. No, 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 I can fix this. Very simple, plenty of YouTube videos out there. I actually took it apart halfway tonight just to vacuum all the dust out of it and to clean it with 91% alcohol. Still has the yellow light of death, so I put it back together and I'm gonna be fixing that, so stay tuned for that video on the other channel. Tips in and tricks. Controller, we're looking absolutely phenomenal. It did not come with the power cord, but of course these original PS3 fats just have the little three plug, just like your desktop computer for your power supply. So that was all good. Tested that out. That does need to be fixed, but came with a controller, which was filthy, and I had to clean it. All right, pretty much all this stuff was pretty filthy. Whoever used this stuff literally just left it in their closet. Definitely dusty, a little grummy from the hands, you know what I'm saying? So I cleaned that really good. Anyway, I wanted to shine that before I showed you. Coming over here to a PS2 Mini Slim, or whatever you call it, that works completely. Eight gigabyte memory card right there, looking absolutely fantastic. Already powered this up and tried it out. Even had has Guitar Hero uh, Rocks 80s PS2 disc inside. I don't know if there's a game in there or not because I obviously I can't power it on. I have it right as you power it on, it uh, flickers yellow and then beeps red on you. That's the yellow light of death. Okay, coming over here. Came with the TV cable for the PS2, absolutely fantastic, and the power supply, uh, actually minus that portion of the power supply, but I already got plenty of those cables, so I already tested that with my laptop, one that I have for that. Came with a Mad Gear RF adapter here for your TV, and of course that is for the Wii. There was a Wii in there, no game inside, but came with a sensor bar, Wii powers up completely fine, nothing wrong with it, power supply it came with as well, and a Wii nunchuck remote right there, but no no batteries in there, but of course that's just, you know, normal batteries. No uh, silicone sleeve either, but it's all good. Coming over here to an extension cord, awesome, why not? And then a Sony um, power supply, which has to be for some sort of laptop or something like that. Maybe you guys can help me out with this. The power voltage right there is DC out 8.4 volt, 1.5 amp. Before it unfocuses, have you guys seen a tip like that? 
Again, very strange looking tip. It's almost like a micro SD, but not really. Kind of two little prongs there. There we go, there's a good shot of it there. Anyway, came with the power plug and all that good stuff. I just don't know what electronic device, what Sony, that's a genuine Sony, don't know what that's to. Help me out guys in the comments below if you know what that's for. So as we can see there, there's all my alcohol pads that I wiped off the <laughs> stuff with disgust. Now they're looking absolutely spot on fantastic. How about that game haul right there? Game console haul. We will be fixing you of course. And again, oh my goodness gracious, I still need to test the Xbox 360 Slim that we have in the garage probably the red ring of death on that one as well but hey you know what i'm saying it's all good baby we got video games for days so even though i do not have gamestop luck so far i do have apartment complex luck hopefully i will find a good gamestop that will produce a lot of action because i need to bundle these up with some games and all that fun stuff and we want to sell it and we want to sell them all and then we're going to get a ps4 with everything we sell it for. That is awesome. I think I'm gonna keep the uh, PS2 Slim for the man cave because we have an original PS2 down there, the Fat Daddy, but I will replace it with a Slim. Obviously it does the same thing, plays PS2 games, but I don't know, maybe we'll keep the Nintendo Wii. Tennis is pretty sweet, but then I'm gonna have to get more controllers. We'll see. I almost forgot, in the one of the bins that I did not take, I just rumbled through them, I did grab again, remember I told you, Planet Earth 5 DVD Collector's Edition Discovery Channel, and then Grey's Anatomy. Some of the cases were empty, but I grabbed Grey's Anatomy. Uh, this is a single I think season something or other. I forgot. Anyway, uh, season two discs. Uh, let's see. What season is that? Disc one, episodes one. Oh, season one. That's like the original season one right there. Grey's Anatomy. Cool. Anyway, and then this right here again is Planet Earth, which I'm really actually excited to watch this. So I'm definitely stoked I grab this. This has every single disc in there. Boom. Take a look at that. Discs for days, baby. And that is something that's my little heart's desire. I want to go see the green lights. No, they're called Northern Lights. That's it, sorry. Definitely a cool PC. <laughs> I'm very excited about that one. What? Is that another LED light in there? Sick. Just wanted to get it on camera here. Again, the Alienware PC is up and running, fully functional with that hard drive in there with Windows 7 Ultimate. I did have to go back door and hack it and change the password, actually eliminate the password. Really simple to do. Again, go to my other channel, Tips In and Tricks, and that video will be up shortly. How to, I think I will title it, how to bypass or how to log into your Windows 7 computer without a password or something like that. Plenty of videos out there, but mine are very simple to understand. So head on over there if you're interested in that but just wanted to show you that it is working very cool i wanted to show you the specs for the alienware computer we're looking absolutely fantastic so the processor is the i7 cpu 930 2.8 gigahertz 2.80 gigahertz. We have installed memory again is 12 gigabytes of RAM, which I showed you earlier. 64-bit uh, operating system and all that fun stuff with Windows 7 Ultimate, but that again was a separate hard drive. So overall, very cool. I told you, I told you, wow, we're gonna trick out the man cave. We're gonna make some cheese and maybe we might even get frisky and take poop emoji over with me. You know what I'm saying, guys? Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, poop emoji will go ahead and make you like it. I'm just kidding. Subscribe if you're into it because we got so much more action in the books. If you guys didn't know, I'm a daily vlogger and most of the time I do some dumpster diving in the midst of my vlogs. So it's kind of like some creative stuff, some awesome stuff. Follow me along in my action adventure adventures and I show you some of the previews before it even airs in the Trash Treasure episodes. Take care guys, I'll see you guys on episode eight. Bye-bye. Yo, if you're sick and tired of paying too much for stuff, just look in that dumpster and you might come up. Yo, come ups, come ups, I come ups a big, come ups a small, people throwing away mad stuff all day long. But then you can sell for cash and gold because all of us need a come up these days. Come up, come up.